Yes, I just passed my AI 900 exam and obtained my Azure AI Fundamentals certification. Congratulations on earning your Microsoft certified Azure AI Fundamentals certification. Celebrate your certification and all your learning achievements on the Microsoft Learn profile. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys exactly how I passed this certification, what resources, courses, and questions I used to help you guys do the exact same thing. By the end of this video, you will have a clear path of resources that you need to use and should use to study and pass this exam same way I did. If I didn't use some of the courses and videos that I'm gonna mention right now, I may not have passed this certification. And if I knew what I know now, it would be so much easier to study and pass this exam. But before we talk about how to pass the certification, let's talk a little bit about the certification itself. Now, Microsoft Certified Azure AI Fundamentals is a certification that helps you demonstrate fundamental AI concepts related to the development of software and services for Microsoft Azure to create AI solutions. The certification describes what AI is, it tells us the fundamental principles of machine learning. It describes AI solutions like computer vision and even covers the features of NLP, natural language processing. And last but not least, it describes the features of generative AI. And with all these topics mentioned within the scope, it specifically focuses on these topics in relation to Microsoft Azure, describing what those solutions do and how they work in an Azure environment. For this exam, you will only have 45 minutes to complete it. And the number of questions you get with this exam will vary, with the maximum being around 50. For my exam, I got exactly 43 questions. And I was able to complete them all with lots of time to spare. Of course, for some people, they might take a little bit longer, but for me, this was way more than enough time to complete this certification. This certification costs $99 with some tax as well. And for my people in the UK, it costs 69 pounds. Also with some tax, I think it comes to about 80 pounds or something like that. But if you can't really afford these certifications, and you want to get a discount on this price, Microsoft offer loads of discounts when you take their training days. So if you take one of the AI training days, they'll give you a 50% discount on the certification. I will leave a link to where the training days are and where you can sign up for this for completely free. And once you go through this free training day, you'll get a voucher at the end that gives you 50% off the certification. Now that we've described what the certification is, what it covers and how much it costs, we can now dive in to how exactly we are gonna pass this certification and the resources that I used to get the knowledge to pass the exam. First things first, when I was taking this certification, I needed to find a good course that I could follow along and learn about each of the sections. I really like the platform Coursera. So I went on Coursera to look for an AI 900 fundamentals course. And I found this course on Coursera. Now the course was really, really good. It was really helpful. I paid attention and went through the entire course. The course had loads of great ratings and also provided lots of exam preparation. But I had one issue about this course. When I reached the end, I discovered that it doesn't cover everything. You wanna know how I found out that this course did not cover what I needed to know and understand to pass the exam? I did practice questions. And I did these practice questions through the free AI 900 practice questions on the Microsoft Learn website. I took the first practice exam and I didn't do very well. I discovered that the Coursera course was out Dated. It did not cover the new stuff in the actual exam. It didn't cover anything related to generative AI. And there were loads of different names for the actual services that they mentioned in the course that had been changed. This was really confusing for me when I took the practice test as I'd gone through a whole course that did not have the up-to-date knowledge that I needed to pass the exam. By the way, I'm gonna leave a link to the free Microsoft AI practice tests in the description of this video. Now, having already taken a full course on AI, even though it was slightly outdated, I still had some good knowledge and good understanding of AI, but I wasn't ready for the exam just yet. I needed more. I needed to understand up to date what I needed to know to pass the exam. And then came my hero. Mr. John Savile with his brilliant study crams. Without these study crams, I may not have been able to pass this exam. I needed some quick and simple courses that would teach me and give me a general understanding of what I needed to know 
to get the past. And this is exactly what John Savile's course gave me. One of the things I like about John Savile is he always updates his courses. Now he has two AI 900 courses. First one is from several years ago and is now outdated. And he literally put retired on the top of it. So don't go and use that one. Now his most recent courses for the AI 900 is one that covers specifically generative AI for the AI 900 and another video that covers everything that is not generative AI for the AI 900 as well. Now I watched both of these videos and took loads and loads of notes. They were study crams. They were quite short and easy to go from beginning to the end in one sitting. I always watch courses on 1.5 so I'm able to get through a little bit faster and take as many notes as possible that I can go back to and refresh my memory. Now once I watched these videos and took my notes and took these study crams by John Savile, I went back to the Microsoft practice tests and I started getting some more promising scores. After getting these more promising scores, there was one thing that I needed to do. I needed to do correction. For each question I got wrong, I needed to write down the correct answer and read the explanations that they give within Microsoft Learn. Just from getting answers wrong and reading the explanations, I learned so much more. And through this, I was able to pass the AI 900 exam. I don't usually go into the exam center, but this time I went into the exam center and passed the exam. Usually I take them online, but I thought, you know, let me switch it up. Now there was one last thing that I must mention when talking about the AI 900. One last study resource that I didn't get to mention in this video. And that is the AI 900 course on free code camp. Now, I took the first 30 minutes of this course and decided to go with something else personally, but I see the reviews and see that a lot of people got all they needed from this one course. And I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description of this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.